Hello everyone, uh, sorry it's been a while since my last video, I just want to do a quick video to show anyone who's worried about the new songbook coming up next week, um, how to install it and how Soundbox will work with the new files. So let's open Soundbox, and at the moment it's set to use the existing songbook so it's populating the songs for this weekend's meeting. Obviously there's no one there because it's we haven't had that talk yet so we don't know what the song is if in next midweek as soon as Sunday is over the songs will stop being populated because it won't know where the files are it won't just put the wrong ones in it just won't populate them at all so to set up the new songbook let's make this bit bigger go to options and update songs and this is the new update songs window if you haven't seen it before Essentially, you tick one or both of these two and click update. So I'll do that now and show you what happens. I'll just do this one for now and click update. And this will download the lyrics and the music MP3 files for the new book. So I'll pause the video and see you when it's finished. Right, so that took quite a while, it's almost finished. Then you will notice on the top of this window here, it says choose the songs you want to use. If you have both songbooks installed, then Soundbox will prompt you to select one of them at Program Startup. And I'll show you what that means when this is finished. Uh, when you've got both, it needs to know which book to use, because obviously they will conflict otherwise. So uh, let this install, and then I'll show you what that means. It's just unzipping the file now. Okay, so that's done. So if I click close, it will tell me to restart Soundbox to take effect. So I'll, I shall do that. And now when I click Soundbox, you'll get a window you've not seen before. You have multiple Soundbox installs installed please select the one you want to use now if I want to use the new songbook today for this weekend's meeting I'll show you what happens Soundbox will open normally but it will not populate these songs because the new songbook doesn't come into effect until well Monday but most people's midweek meetings next week so that's that but let me show you what the new song lyrics format will look like. If I tell it to use this display for the media, but firstly I need to set up the song lyrics. So if I go to settings and go to song lyrics down here, because this is a new installation for this video. So go to general and show lyrics on media by default and show checkboxes to give you the option to turn them off. So I'll do that, close sandbox and open it again. Choose the new songbook again. Again, it won't be populated. So if I now put a song in there, let's have 12, that'll do. And click play. This is using the new built-in lyrics feature of Soundbox called Folio Lyrics. In line with the society's recommendation, we do no, long, no longer have scrolling lyrics. So you'll see when they start how that looks. go you get sections or stanzas of the song at a time and they're in complete timing so you never have to worry about the timing of the song anymore they are completely set with the timing of the lyrics and you'll see it change just now there you go but that actually isn't the recommended system there may be a situation where that is preferred but I'll come back to that in later but with that system while I'm here I'll show you what options you do have it's in settings and then song lyrics you'll see folio lyrics. You can change the font it uses. And then you can change this. It's not exactly changing the font size. What it's doing, it's changing the amount of screen it's going to use. And you may think, that why would you do that? But if, if I make the percentage of display height less than 100%, say 70, I can now use, 
because that's height, I can now use the vertical alignment to push it further to the top of the screen. So if I do that now, go back to the music and play it, you'll see now there's a black bar at the bottom of the screen and the, everything is pushed up to the top. That may help certain congregations um, where the audience towards the back can't see the lyrics at the bottom of the screen, so this will now force everything up to the top with everything still fitting on the screen. So that's that. But like I say, this system isn't the recommended system anymore. The recommended system is to use the new videos from the society. And that completely disregards any of the lyric features of Soundbox and just plays the video with the lyrics built in. So if I go to the general options and click update songs, as we saw before, there is now this section. Sing out joyfully MP4. So playing video with the lyrics attached. If I click that and click update, that will take a prohibitively long time, depending on your internet connection. So you may be better off getting someone to do this at home with a fast connection and bring it in. Depends on your speed at the Kingdom Hall, of course. Now to do that manually, you go to the manual section here and it tells you where to place all the MP4 files that you downloaded into that folder. And conveniently, you can click that folder and it will open Explorer into that folder because on some systems this is a hidden folder as per one of my previous videos. But there, it opens that folder and then you can just drag them into there. But for, for the sake of this video, I will download them. And I'll click Update. And I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished. Okay, so that's done now. So I'll close it and restart Sandbox. And again, I'll choose the new songbook. And now if I choose a song, let's have a different one this time. And click play. You'll see now it's playing a video. And the lyrics, similar to the folio lyrics, but they have been designed by the branch. Slightly smaller font and it's a light background and dark text. And it works the same, it shows a standard at a time and is timed correctly. So let's stop that. There aren't many options, well, there's only one option that you can have with the video lyrics. And that is you can zoom in up to 10%. Or zoom out by various amounts. So let's zoom out by 30% and put it towards the top. And then go back and play and you'll see the video is just shrunk down and put to the top of the screen. Uh, but obviously that makes the text smaller so you have to gauge for yourself. It'd be worth going and practice to see what looks best on your screens at the hall. Um, to see what's best for you and your congregation. You may find the folio lyrics built into Soundbox are better but that is up to you. You need to carefully consider that and discuss that with the elders. But And that's it. That's how to use the new songbook with Soundbox. Now to get rid of the choice at the beginning where it asks you which songbook to do, what you have to do is go back to options in general and then update songs and this time untick what you're not going to be using. Bearing in mind as soon as you untick that and then click update it will remove, delete the files for that songbook. So if you did want to save them for any reason open that folder by going to manual and clicking that and copying the files that you want to save or back up as it were somewhere so that you've got a copy of them if ever you need them again to save you having to download them again won't really happen I don't suppose because you won't ever go back to the old songbook but if you want it for your own personal use that's that's how you would do that so if I do this now if I remove the old songbook in fact I'll show you how to back up let's do this and the old songbook is this one IASNN including the uh, zip file of it there so if I click the first one then scroll all the way down 
Well, the SNM is the new, is the old songbook up to 135. So if I shift and then click that one, and then um, copy those, let's put them in here. Let's make a new folder. Music. And I can paste them all in there. And then if I go back to the folder, you'll also see IS, IASNM is the old songbook up to 135, like I say. Then the SJJM is the new songbook, so sing joyfully to Jehovah. And underneath that, you'll also see a few SNNW. Now that is the new songs from 136 to 154 that we have been using. So again, select those with shift click, copy go forward to the folder I was in and paste them. Now I've got a copy of them if I need them. So now I'll go back to here, go to automatic and untick that one and update. It will check to see if there's any new files available, but there won't be. So it's downloading no files. And then it unzips the files just to make sure they're all okay again. And close. OK and close Soundbox. Now when I open Soundbox, it's no longer asking you its songbook because it has removed the old songs. So that's how to use the new songbook. Thanks for watching.